what's up everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i have with me a huawei yeah it's a huawei model kob w09 uh, came in with a, uh, a broken uh, i believe broken touch screen on the bottom right corner or towards me the bottom left corner and uh, not sure if you can see that yeah but there is a crack right over here yeah and i checked locally and we don't have these in stock and the only place to get a replacement uh, screen or digitizer was either uh, us or china and lucky for me I got mine from uh, US uh, from China it would have been uh, the actual uh, part itself but I was able to grab hold of a a full tablet so I'm just going to pull out the screen from that tablet and put it into this tablet so without wasting any time let's jump into this video yeah, so as I was saying here this is the the crack on the digitizer on this side right here so it is not able to to sense the touch on this side but this side the screen is responsive but on this side there is a disconnect so I'm just going to power this off And let's see the one that I got. So this is the one and the screen looks to be in good condition. So no scratches and no cracks. Uh, even the body of this one looks to be in a much better condition than this one. Let me just try and power it on and see what it says. Okay, 3% battery Need to charge this. Is it powering off? Okay, so screen seems to be in a good condition and I think, uh, yeah, what is this? Okay, so it keeps on popping up some kind of uh, advert. Battery is empty, your tablet will shut down in 30 seconds. Okay, so let me just power it off and uh, get to the screen. And let's tackle the screen from this one. I will need some uh, hot air, uh, something to disconnect the screen, some plastic tools, get my hot air station set at uh, 250 let's uh let's gently hit uh, the edges until they're nice and toasty nice and warm so i think that's good you can always start off with the corner so this one is a bit lifted so it makes our job slightly easier then we can just go around from here uh, gently if it's stuck we can reheat the area okay some heat here 
if you force it up without the heat there is a chance of breaking the glass the glass can just flex so much so where there is a crack it is actually separating with the lift and I'm just going to try and get it not to crack even further just a piece of uh, a tape measure that broke off it's nice and thin I'm trying to get it to slide under the the cracked portion of the screen And there is a screw holding the ribbon cable in place. I have to be mindful of that. I don't strip it out in the, in the other screen. Just the screw. bracket this one lifts okay and the screen is out so I was actually separating this plastic piece from the screen itself but it's actually supposed to come out uh, just by prying it off from wherever it latches to so this is out let's do the other one the one with the ok screen <laughs> lift off uh, this screen without uh, damaging it so let's try and let's try and do that so I can I can feel it uh, I can hear it also snap out of place 
So hopefully I might be able to take it out without without spoiling uh, the adhesive between the plastic and the screen although it's a bit tricky and also very tight it's also breaking off my uh, plastic uh, thin plastic piece I think I have one side done so yeah so once one side is done then I can just use this side to to slide around the other sides so as you can see I'm trying to apply the separating force on the plastic and uh, the housing and not on the glass itself uh, this is important if we want to have this screen in one piece and now going around the edges this is also a bit tricky okay it's really eating into my tool hopefully I can finish this disassembly before my tool breaks apart okay we're making some good progress Not sure if you can hear that, but it's uh, yeah, it's letting go. There we go. Okay. Also, have to be careful not to pull out uh, the screen too far because of the ribbon cable underneath. Okay. So put this aside. separated okay, just need to unscrew this one And there we go. So this was a good one. Good separation because uh, I didn't separate the screen from the plastic piece. I actually unlatched the plastic piece from the housing itself. So let's do a swap. And it's going back into this one. This is the original one and it's, uh, it's like this. So we have to disconnect the battery. Whenever we are reinstalling a screen, we don't know if uh, there is any power going into the screen connector and most of the time if there is power and you short circuit or you connect the wrong pins then most likely you're going to there is a good chance you could destroy your screen okay so let's put this back here Mm-hmm. 
putting the original uh, clip and the same screw which came out of this tablet It's done. We put back the battery. Yeah, battery clip. Okay, so before I put the screen back together completely, uh, let's uh, take a look and see if it's powering on. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this touch is working okay. Everything seems to be fine. See, in this in this screen or the this crack screen, there is a crack going around here, and there was also a crack going across on this side. And when I was trying to lift up the screen, it actually broke over here yeah and there's lots of superficial scratches on the screen so i would uh, recommend uh, having the customer or client uh, install a screen protector just to avoid some of these scratches uh, they, they some of them once they dig in the screen they're not easy to remove yeah but yeah let's finish up with uh, this one so all I need to do is just snap it back into place and to do that I'm going to place it on the screen itself I'm just going to place it flat and press on top of it so that uh, there is even distribution of my weight okay it's it's not going through let me try it like this Okay, let me try to get uh, the the f top in first, and then we can
Okay, I need I need to put something underneath so that it can help me push the screen inside. It's not going in like this. It's a lot of pressure. this side is done the top is done again being careful not to apply pressure on the glass itself but uh, spread the pressure evenly so that we don't crack the glass and yeah so this fix is done so this is another successful fix and yeah user data is locked this is up to the user if they want to flash the the tablet as you can see it looks good and we have uh, fixed it so call this another successful fix yeah This one is the new one, this one is the old one with the cracks. And I'm just going to put it back in, in this one. And maybe kids can play around with this. Yeah. So the display is still functional. All I need to do is just uh, get a new digitizer for it. And since it's already cracked, yeah so this done maybe I'll keep it like this until I get uh, a new digitizer yeah but for now this is done yeah okay so the repair is done yeah uh, this is a Huawei MediaPad model KOB-W09. I came in with a broken uh, touch digitizer on this corner here. And there's some cracks and superficial scratches all over the screen. And I couldn't get any replacement uh, touch digitizer or screens locally. So I had to uh, get this uh, from outside. Got it from US. It was either I get the digitizer from China or I get uh, this whole tab from US. And I opted to get it from uh, US. Yeah. So we can see right here. This is the screen which is fixed and touch is working in this corner it was not working in the broken screen and this is another successful uh, repair yeah although it was just a screen swap it's uh, still a repair nonetheless and if you made it this far into the video I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel uh, like and share the video leave your thoughts and comments down below and I will see you in the next one.